are live. Thanks everyone for hanging out uh, while we uh, did a quick uh, little break, uh, got drinks and you know, all that stuff. So uh, before the break, our heroes had uh, uh, found out that several of their two-legged al uh, allies and companions are, are in trouble and decided to, to reach, uh, head off to go find out what's going on and have traveled through the far reach forest where they uh, were tracking their uh, wolf and paladin companion along with um, uh, seeing some disturbing uh, signs that they had been stalked and ambushed uh, along the way. Uh, and they had just encountered a uh, corrupted earth elemental and that they dispatched. And there was a mysterious black cat that uh, they definitely want to get to know. So, and that's where we meet our heroes now. Having just completed the combat, and uh, I'm assuming gathering around uh, their their wounded allies, they just uh, saved from the the shambling creature. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sit on top of Ursa's chest plate and eat the apple. You feeling that? all right, Cinder? He kind of thumped you pretty good. Oh, the kitty getting closer. Uh, and that the cat kind of walks up a little bit. What's your name? I am Celine, and you are Xander. Hmm, interesting. My name is interesting. No, oh, you are. You're. You're. Oh. You're. You're a book, aren't you? I'm a bookworm. Thank you very much. I stand corrected by all means. Mm -hmm. And you are not just a cat. No, I am my lady's familiar. Who's your lady? I, I said the Lady Willow. Oh, oh, uh, 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 stay well. Isn't that who we're trying to find? Yeah, that's the one we we're hoping to go meet, because that's who they were on the way to meet. I guess you went to go look for our friends when they didn't show up. There have been some disturbing things transpiring in the region lately. And, I mean, that's pretty disturbing. The goblin, the moss creature, and the corrupted nature spirit all seem pretty bad, yeah. So. Where's your mistress? It's Lady Willow. Where is Lady Willow? Uh, well, she's at her cottage, of course. Is it really <laughs> she kind of rolls her eyes like, like, of course. Uh, um, <laughs> is it pretty far? We've never been. Not far, not far. Lady Willow, not far. <laughs> uh, Thank you, disembodied Captain. Sure <laughs> so, with that... Um, the cat is Yoda. Can't, it's the ears, I'm telling you. I I can guide you there, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, she kind of goes up and nudges uh, Warden a little bit. Will you be all right to, to help your lady reach the destination? You know, oh, and Warden kind of <clears throat> puffs up his chest a little bit and uh, looks looks to the, the rest of you. C -c -c Please push her across my back. I'm going I'm to give him hero's inspiration. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll her. <laughs> and between the group of you, you're able to kind of, kind of, uh, slump her over the, the, the large wolf's back. And uh, and with that, the cat turns and begins to walk off, assuming that you're following. Yes. Yeah. Ren is trying to stay out of sight of the cat because he is uh, not taking chances there. <laughs> you are undead, Rat. I'm just saying. It's not like this but you're the first time you've died. Um, Might not even be the first time you've died by cat. Look, Nash isn't here. I can't no chromatize myself. 
Be having so, some bad flashbacks there, little buddy. So with that, with the group of you over the back of the wolf, uh, she quickly kind of scoop up the paladin and does her best to to carry slash drag the paladin in and prop them up against some cushions. And uh, stuff. Did the, sorry, did the stream just blip? I just had an internet issue. There was a blip. It yes. did. Yeah. Is it back up? Uh, uh, it seems to be working, yes. Okay. Okay, sorry. Carry on. Put another quarter in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, they arrive at uh, Willow's house, uh, and as they arrive, the the, uh, the lady Willow sees them and quickly uh, grabs the the injured paladin and drags them inside and kind of prompts them to get some pillows and stuff. And uh, please, please come in. Uh, and as you start scanning the scanning the the room, you see lots of knickknacks and bottles and babbles and, and oh. just jars stuffed with things. Um, and as you um, glance around, uh, it doesn't even, you don't even need to roll for it, uh, Zendrin. Uh, Zendrin, uh, you notice that this is definitely a witch's cottage. How much of the stuff in here is shiny? All of it. All oh, of God. It oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna. I I have to. I can't not. I'm gonna try to take something. The shiniest thing I see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need a dexterity stealth check from you. Okay. So. Nineteen. <laughs> okay. So. She has she has scrolls and stuff on on this table, and is this another pile of books and such by the fire pit? Uh huh. Yeah, like I said, she's oh. she's yeah. Oh, I'm oh, no. buried so, underneath uh, one of those. Um. Uh, so as as you're saying there, she's like, please, please come in, come in. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Not exactly the reinforcements I was expecting. Um. But. You know, I'll help from any of the heroes of Crestfall, including you, uh, would be uh, most welcome. Just rolling around in the middle of the, that pile of books, just holding up one, like, I haven't read this tome before. Oh, your help uh, is amazing. Thank you. I thought we were just kind of on a rescue mission, but yeah, oh. I guess we'll help here, too. Uh, we can do both. Mm. Well, right. I, I, sus I suspect that's that's part of the problem. Give me a moment. Give me, give me, give me a moment. And with that, she uh, she starts rifling through her her, her shelves, pulls out several uh, glass jars and canisters, um, and starts throwing uh, bits and uh, things into a pot. And as she does. Uh, it kind of bubbles and smokes, and then a, a cloud of bluish, purplish smoke bellows out a, a little mini cauldron. <clears throat> and as it does, it makes this weird sigil in the air. Uh, Zindra, did you want to give me a arcane lore check? Maybe intelligence arcane lore. Oh, oh. Three one. <laughs> um, That's nice so, to see that you roll consistently. Anyway, well, that counters that counters the uh, the the amazing blast that <laughs> Calvin had earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am far too into this little book of herbology she had lying on the ground that I have never read before. Can I roll and also uh, have a specialty in alchemy as well? Sure. Let's see if maybe see what fifteen. So <clears throat> yes, she's trying to to, to um, cast some sort of augury or some sort of uh, 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 fortune seeing 
something. And, uh, <laughs> but something is blocking her. Uh, and that's what the sigil kind of represented. Um, oh, and she just, and when she sees that, she kind of does, a hand goes to her, her, her she kind of steps back a little bit, uh, goes to her face and kind of steps back, like, oh, this is, this is not good. This is, this is, this is not good at all. Um, um, I believe, and she looks over towards the paladin, I believe that those who, who have attacked your friend or have attacked the others of your company. Would, would, would you mind? And she kind of reaches out her hand towards uh, you, Roth. What? Would, would, would you mind giving me your hand? I'll hold out my little, <laughs> my little raccoon mitten. <laughs> and as she does, uh, she mutters some some words under her breath of, of arcane nature. And as she does, for a split second, you can see what your two-legged ally can see. Whoa. Which is a whirling contraption of metal and and arcane energy sparkling and strobing. Uh and whoa. they are they are in pain. Uh, uh, and, and it's like that fast. And as it does, it shocks her as well. And she uh, releases her hand and breaks the connection. That didn't, didn't like that. It's okay, Roth. I feel like you're taller than me. It's just Probably. a handshake. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. But books. We you, gotta go now. Where are we going? Okay. Into something terrible, I bet. I mean, where are we? Yeah, where are we going now? <laughs> Into something fun. We saved the paladin. Isn't that why we were here? Wait, where's the other human? That's yeah. That's a thing. We're still missing. Oh, one. we were supposed to find two humans in Wolf. There you go. Oh. This is why I, I believe the heroes of Crestwall have been ambushed and attacked. So Nash and everyone, Nash and everyone else, they're uh they got attacked by the same person? I believe so, but I, I can attempt to find out if you're willing. I mean, if Wagner's with them, I'm sure they're fine. He's they're quite not powerful. Fine. They're not fine. I'm going to walk up and hand her my little talon paw. So, uh, and as you do, uh, uh, just, as you go to reach up, just, um, one moment, and as she does, she she uh, grabs some herbs and stuff and kind of does a quick circle around the area, and then... Um, Pour some more liquids and stuff into the bubbling cauldron. And as she does, she reaches over, she touches the cauldron, and then all of you see what appears to be uh, an image of um, of Samuel, the sorcerer um, that uh, Zendir works with, um, in heated combat against some sort of black knight. And on his the Black Knight's uh, armor, uh, there's a bunch of runes uh, carved around his his shield, which seems to be warding him against spell attacks. Um, and you recognize the sigil on it. Uh, some of you, Roth, you do. Uh, Zendry, you don't recognize the sigil because it was before your time. But uh, you recognize it as the Crest of Solban. who is a dark wizard that the, the heroes of Crestwell have clashed with multiple times. Not a good person. Why is Samuel uh, fighting him alone? We have to find Samuel. Uh, and the, the the Dark Knight he's fighting is one of Solban's minions, his lieutenants. Um, and then uh, as they as he says, 
uh, in combat, you see a small group of goblins come out from the shadows and join the fray, and then uh, things go black in the, the, the vision of jades. Um, I believe uh, Solban has captured your your the, the heroes of Crestwall. They have a long-standing. Uh, well, he was banished long ago and driven out of these lands by the heroes of Crestwall. And now it looks like he has returned. Um, I do recognize those goblins as the goblins of one of the local tribes that uh, raid the forest from the Badlands to the to the east of here. Try to get his face chewed off. So we'll chew his face off. So, um, As... No, Daniel's not going to have his face chewed off. That's terrible. Where are we going? Hunt goblins. No. Oh, you are an augury. Can you help find us where we need to go? Witch okay. lady. I can do my best. Um, it will take me a bit, but I, I can see what I can do to, to send you in the right path uh, if you're willing to go. I mean, it is a rather large task to be covered. Solvan is not the one to be trifled with. Um, I'm going to rescue Samuel. Yeah. I don't think I could stop him if I wanted to, so let's try and help him. I do like the trifle. Yes. Um, anyone who would like, they can make me an intelligence test. If you've got uh, history, use that as a focus. Um, or any kind of regional knowledge. Oh. Uh, no. 17. Oh, no, that was the wrong button. I failed my intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> like me as a player. <laughs> Wiki rolled a natural. Got a whopping, got a whopping eleven with no stunts. <clears throat> uh, weirdly enough, I seem to have rolled the same thing. <laughs> so thirteen with three stun points. Saying both of Kevin's got an eleven, so we're rocking this out. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, it's not super difficult. This is actually a test where I've uh, uh, the higher you do, the more information I I, I, I give out. So um, I'll take the minimum, please. So uh, <laughs> what you do know is that um, so oh, so this is kind of a history about the bad guy. Uh, you do know that Solban the sorcerer is a power hungry sorcerer who wishes to ascend to godhood. He's performed many uh, uh, dark rites in the past to extend his, his unnatural life, lifespan. And uh, you do know that uh, uh, he's he hasn't been seen in lands in quite some time. Uh, last time he flashed with the Heroes of Crestwall. Uh, that's actually how they became the Heroes of Crestwall, is by, <laughs> by banishing Solban from the area. And... Uh, it's normally uh, Solban is usually in the uh, in the companionship of Lucian. Um, so as a, a dark sorcerer and raven, and uh, you also know that uh, that's that's from part of the knowledge test. You also recognize the the goblin uh, as the Gardnell uh, tribe. Uh, it's a small. Uh, conclave of goblins that live in the mesas and near the bat uh, the, the lost at barons uh that do tend to raid the area so you, get, you have some reference about which part of the, uh, they usually raid so you have a little bit it narrows it down to um the badlands too well one section of the badlands luckily uh and the badlands themselves weren't always the badlands uh you do know that uh, it was some sort of magical catastrophe that uh, devastated the whole region and, and blasted it and left the mesas and stuff in its place. Um, with a uh, 17 on that, uh, or our... Uh, our uh, inquisitive little dragon. You got a 17, right? Mm -hmm. Our inquisitive little dragon. Um, you do know that if uh, Solban is up to no good and wishes to to cause harm to the heroes and extend his un he's probably trying to extend his un his unnatural life again, um, 
there is a convergence of moons in three days. Oh. And he's probably that would be the the, the appropriate oh. time to to do certain dark rites and rituals. Oh no. Okay. Guys, we got three days. We got three days. We. I'd like to be optimistic about it, but statistically, this is bad. Hey, but I'm sure once life. we find Samuel, it'll be fine. Right? Never tell me the odds. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> we, I won't do the math. We still got to figure out where to go when the witch lady I... tells us. Um, I, I can, I can, uh, tried to read the strands of fate, but it will require some doing. Um, and I don't know if the uh, the forces that are in the area, the corruption that is in the area might uh, interfere, but I will do my best. Could I help? I mean, I know a little bit about fate. I mean... It, yeah, by all means. Um, Yes, yes. That, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, the two of you are able to to, to pull on uh, some of the tapestries. She's definitely uh, got a lot more skill in that kind of area <laughs> than you do. Uh, yeah, he's mostly just holding the flashlight. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but the two of you are able to, to do some augury and stuff, and she kind of narrows it down. Um, and uh, you do know that the Badlands, uh, and uh, there are some ruins. There was some, you know, it was once, in, like I said, a great inhabited area. There's several, you know, castles and keeps and stuff like that. And it does appear that, the, according to the augury, she tells you the omens have spoke to her that uh, uh, he has raised uh, one of the, um, the old towers. Uh, and that's where you will find him. And she, and then with that, uh, she's able to, to help uh, kind of breaks a little map of the area and kind of tells you, you know, a point that, are, you know, where to go and, you know, go around the lake here and go here and, and kind of give you the directions towards the, the easiest, safest way to the, the, that part of the forest um, to make it towards the Badlands. You can get us there roughly. I trust Farron to find it. He's got an eye for things. Certainly. Like um, trouble. So with that, uh, are you are you guys gonna head out right away? I mean, it's, or are you gonna? How uh, rested are we? I mean, it, we 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 traveled all day and then had a fight. Like how? Again, Farron's focus on efficiency <laughs> means that if everyone is falling over, it doesn't make much sense to push at this point. If we would be, yeah, that's not, I, I, I'm. Sender got banged up a little bit. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, yeah, that's. Me. Yeah. Fine. So, cool. <clears throat> you guys gonna plan and um, she will obviously offer hospitality and she might if you guys do crash for the night, she may really, uh, uh, offer some other assistance. Uh, but if she understands if you need to go right away, I mean obviously time is of the essence. Um so how does resting work with gaining health back? So with that, uh, in um, in second edition, uh, you can take a breather, which is basically kind of like a little, little five minute break, you know, whatever, and you can get a, a little bit of health back. And that takes out like the fatigue conditions, stuff like that. Um, you can take a light rest, uh, which is a, you know a short, you know, like three hour kind of little break, um, uh, and you can you can do some light activity while you're doing that, and then that reduces again reduces any kind of conditions you might have. And uh, if you do a total rest, you actually get able to recover hit points and, and magic points and stuff like that. So, but that means that you're you know you're yeah. you're actually just off your feet. And, yeah. Yeah. That's like sleeping overnight kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, it looks like even just a breather gives you five plus your con plus your level and health, which for some minor bruising might get you back up to healthy. Yeah, I think I, I just get like 
a little three hour one and I'll have something back, which is better than nothing. I also think it might depend on how all of our spellcasters are doing with their spell points. Yeah, I was. Is it only total rest that you get your magic points back, or can you get it with a breather or a light rest? Um, you know, I'm so used to fully rose magic that doesn't use magic points. <laughs> I will. Uh, right. I'll steal that. Because Blue Rose uses a fatigue system instead of magic points. I would take a wild guess and say it probably is total rest only. Yeah, I think so. Probably, but I, I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it under rest. At least in the quick guide. For what it's worth, say, well, we'll just go. I'm all right. I've got a pretty good store of magical energy. Yeah, I'm, I can go if we need to. I'm not too bad right now. Well, the accent's all over the place. I'm not too bad <laughs> right now, but... What do you mean? <laughs> Moved from New York to the South. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not uh, too bad right now, but I wouldn't mind having some magic back. I mean, we're like going up against like magic and magic guy, right? So you guys could probably have your magic. So we do have to get there quick. So yeah. maybe we should just press on. I think we have time for a breather at least. Yeah, oh yeah, you definitely have had, uh, actually this can count as a short rest, so um, as you sat there and talked and stuff to her. Um, so with that, um, the heroes will press on uh, and make their way out east towards the, the blasted Badlands. Um, and just as a, as a highlight uh, for what's coming next, um, we have uh, part two and part three, and so we're gonna, a couple of things that I'm going to just let the team know. Uh, as we go in, there are some new mechanics that we're going to be diving into a little bit, uh, one being peril uh, and the other being daring, which are kind of uh, two sides um, of the same coin. As uh, things go on, you can um, accrue daring points and then and peril, which will basically uh, trigger bad events, the bad guys uh, trigger bad events, and then uh, daring are, are basically st stores of, of stunt points that you can tap into to do cool things. So, um, and then we're also going to be leveling up between adventures, just thinking it's going to taste of, of what that looks like in Fantasy Age. Um, we are a little, sh uh, we are going to cut tonight's game a little short, though, because uh, I don't want to like, dive in too much more before, and then have them <laughs> deal with the have to get stuck in dealing with the, the fallout in the middle of the I don't want to be I don't want to be Alex and give you a major uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 shots fired shots fired wow. uh, get you in the middle of, of something and then just go oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, uh, so tonight we will we will the camera will pull out as you slowly leave the the witch willows cabin and start heading their way uh, uh, out east to the best blasted barons. And with that, uh, I'm going to uh, want to thank everyone for getting in the night. Uh, a couple of quick announcements from around the channel. And then I'm going to give everyone a chance to say um, uh, good night and uh, goodbye or, or post uh, or uh, or uh, uh, talk about anything that they want, you know, 
about what's coming up or other things that they want to mention that they might want to um, highlight. And then also uh, you know, give them a chance to ask any you know, questions that may have run in or thought of or ran into tonight as we played our, the first, because most most everyone, this was their first game of Fantasy Age. So um, as far as uh, around the network, um, tomorrow night, we have a brand new episode of Gemstars, which is our magical girl mutants and masterminds inspired uh, campaign, which is really cool. Uh, Wednesday, we are we are off, but Alex is over as is, is going to be uh, on the mutants and masterminds developer chat over for the mutants mutants masterminds Patreon. So if you're part of the Patreon and you have questions about mutants and masterminds, it's a great place to ask um, the design team. Uh, and Thursday, the channel will have a brand new blog post going out. And then on next Monday, we'll be back for installment two of um, A Familiar's Tale. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is that while this game is Fantasy Age and it does run off of the uh, it does run off the Adventure Game Engine, which is also being used to power the upcoming fifth season um, uh, RPG, which is inspired by the best-selling Broken Earth trilogy novels. And the crowdfunder for that starts tomorrow. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out, by all means, check out the crowdfunder because uh, we are going to be giving away a quick start guide for it for free. Uh, and so you can check it out and then decide if you want to pledge or if you don't want to pledge or um, just give me a taste of it. And then we'll also be releasing that on Roll20 as well uh, this week for free. So um, that everyone can try it, whether they play virtually or they play at the table or you know, however they play. So it's really awesome. Uh, and with that, I will kick it over to Wiki. Hi. Uh, I do have a question. I have an answer. Did I steal something, and what was it? Uh, yes, <laughs> and I, I, I have to, I'm going to make a little uh, random loot table, and uh, oh, yeah. roll, uh, I'm going to roll in the random loot table next week. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll start off with the, with that next week to see what did you, what did you abscond with? Nice. <laughs> Yeah, Should be me, what did you just come abscond with? Um, <laughs> so, uh, but I, I do want to craft a little table for that. And, and if people are interested, I can throw it up on the um, on our blog post too at some point. So, with that question answered, uh, yeah, so uh, come back, join us tomorrow night uh, for the next episode, episode 15 of Gem Stars and uh, see what the magical girls are going to get themselves into. Um, spoiler, trouble. They're going to get themselves into some trouble. Oh, 100%. 100%. That is what's about to happen. <laughs> um, they have some stuff to deal with first because one of their... one among their number did some things... Revealed some stuff. <laughs> Come see what that stuff was. Um, I'm also going to be the person that will go ahead and plug our Untold Stories Project uh, Patreon, uh, which is still fairly new. Uh, what is the what is the? It's Untold Untold Stories Project on Patreon. You can look us up that way. I don't know what the exact. Uh, I think there's a link on the Twitch. Link is. Or it's just Patreon.com/slash Untold Stories Project. That should be it. I think Alex ran away, or he could have uh, could have posted it up in there. Uh, so yeah, come. We have some tiers and some special stuff going on for for patrons. So that's always fun. And uh, that's that's all I've got. Uh, over to Kevin. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Kevin. I've been playing Fair and the Falcon. Um, I don't know that I have any questions. I'm kind of like immersed in a new rule set in a new world. It's all very intriguing. Not to mention, um, this is the first time uh, I've gamed with um, Joe or Deuce. So new new stuff all around. So I'm just uh, enjoying the ride. Hopefully you are too. And who knows, maybe next week I'll be able to get my camera working. But if not, there's that Falcon picture we'll get to take crossed. a look at. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's check out the other great shows on the channel. Um, tune in for more upcoming stuff. I guess uh, as we begin our spring fall, there'll be some new stuff rolling out. No spoilers here. Uh, and I will kick it over to Calvin. All right. Um, 
yeah, this was a lot of fun. I'm really <laughs> excited to see where this story goes and if these critters can defeat an evil sorcerer. Uh, <laughs> I, we got this. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> my page is at him. <laughs> there's certainly a difference in confidence between player and character. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as well, other stuff going on, on the channel, definitely check out Gemstars tomorrow because there is going to be some inter-team drama and some revelations and potential betrayals. Who knows how that's going to go. Um, and if you're over on YouTube, please check out the Win With Dice channel where we've got gaming podcasts and game or tabletop RPG podcasts and gaming streams um, and a bunch of Dungeon 23 stuff and a bunch of shorts that I just put up. There's, I'm, I'm trying all sorts of new things, so hopefully some of it's fun. So please check it out. Uh, and I'll pass it off to Joe. That's me. Um... Yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is a lot of fun. I squeed, I squealed whenever I got the description of this character being a bookworm. I just, I lost it and I didn't, yeah, that was the only choice for me. So I am so happy to be playing a little paper dragon. It makes me happy on so many levels. Yes. Um, and as for anything else, I'm going, because I am a paper dragon, I will say... My favorite book is The Alchemist. Aha. And over to the juice. Thanks, Joe. I'm the deuce. Thanks, everyone, for coming to watch our impending doom. I'm sure it's going to be terrible. If you're not watching live, you really should. You can help us or seal our fate by helping the channel and giving Jonesy more things to kill us with. But appreciate it. And uh, don't forget... Parents, don't let your kids grow up to play speedsters. Back to Jonesy. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, again, again, again thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. Um, I am definitely looking forward to it. Uh, as we go on, we'll be uh, revealing some more of the mechanics. Like one of the things that didn't come up tonight was um, spell points and the fact that they can be used to um, overcast so that if you do fail the roll, that you can push to make the spell go off. So. Uh, and some other cool things like challenge tests and things like that. So as we get in there, the players will discover some new and interesting ways to, for the dice to not like them. So um, <laughs> with that, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in and have a wonderful evening. Can't wait to get into stream.